Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties. Today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to add fonts to Canva. You can actually add any font into Canva um, if you have a Canva Pro account because you're gonna need this brand kit over here to be able to do it. So, you can see I've got this font. It is the Chunky Retro font. It's something I've been using in a lot of my tutorials. And it actually even has um, all these extra characters included that you can add in. Like right here, I took this basic L and I gave it one with the little um, flourish on the top. So let's start first of all with how we're gonna get these fonts, where we're gonna get them from, how we're gonna download them to our computer, and then we'll go into how we're going to add um, the fonts into Canva. So I have come over to Creative Fabrica to get my fonts. It is because I have the um, all access membership so I can get any font I want for free. This works for any, any website though. If you get your fonts from Defont or if you get them from Fontspace, um, Creative Market, wherever you get your fonts from, this is going to work for you. So right here, I'm just gonna come into fonts. And um, it's going to just kind of say, here are some popular fonts. I'm just gonna click into that. We'll scroll through some of the popular fonts and they determine their popular by how often they're downloaded. Okay, so looking through, looking through. Um, okay, I like this one here. I'm just gonna click into this one. And a couple things I wanna look for. First of all, is this font PUA encoded? That means you're gonna get all the little extras. You know, a lot of times you see the font picture and then when you go type it in, like the J and the U don't look like that or the M and the I don't look like that. It's because you need to hop into this PUA encoded area. If you see a PUA encoded font, you're gonna get those extras with it, and that's really, really awesome. If you wanna see what all extras are included in your font before you download it, you can just scroll on down to view all glyphs. And then as you scroll, it's gonna show you your main font, and anything in yellow is gonna be an extra added bonus. Okay, so this is exactly that. It's making the letters fit together like she has designed the font. So these are the extras that you're going to get with this font. I'm gonna go ahead and download this font and show you how to put it into Canva. So, download. There it goes, it's downloading onto my computer. And it's good to go, there it is. So I'm gonna close this down, I'm gonna hop into my downloads. I'm going to open up the zip file. They're always going to be in a zip file and you can see there's a lot of stuff going on here. Okay, um, I didn't notice this before, but there's an extrude included with this font. Let me just quickly show you what that is. Let me hop back over to here. Um, this outline portion. So you're gonna get the inside portion and the outside or the extrude so that you can combine everything for that layered look like she has right here. So it's actually gonna come with both of those. Oh, it even says a layered cartoon font. Okay, so back over here. For this tutorial, I'm only gonna work with the inside portion. I'm not going to get the outline. And I always download the open type font. Um, it's up to you, you can download whichever one you want. I just stick with OTF. So I'm gonna drag it onto my desktop I'm gonna open the file and I'm going to install it on my computer. That simple. Now, this file that we just saved onto our desktop, this OTF file, that is what we're going to upload into Canva. So save that file folder. Let's come over here, let's head into Canva. Now, like I said, you do have to have a pro account for this to work because if we are on the homepage of Canva, when we come over here into the brands, that's where we're gonna access these fonts from. So I'm gonna click my brand kit right here. And uh, brand kits are good, um, you know, if you do a lot of designing and uploading mock-ups, that type of thing, you can get all of your little 
logos, you can set your brand colors, you can set your favorite fonts, a lot of stuff you can do in here, but right here under the fonts, so here's the fonts section, I can add a new font right here, it's going to let me add my own font, which is what we're going to do, but I can, I can also manage upload fonts. You can get to it from either place. I'm going to click that. You see I've got these four fonts currently in here. I can delete them if I don't want them anymore. There's the chunky retro that I've been using. I'm going to add a new font. Okay, I'm going to go find it. I put it in my fonts folder. There it was, the comic jungle, just double click. Please confirm the following. By uploading my own custom font, I acknowledge that I own comic jungle OTF or have the right to use it for my intended purposes. Okay, this is another reason I get everything from Creative Fabrica because it comes with a commercial license. If you are downloading from free sites like Fontspace or Defont, Nine times out of 10, the font you are downloading is for personal use only. I don't want that. I want something that I can put on a design and sell. So I get all of mine from Creative Fabrica. Yes, I agree that I am allowed to use this because I have the Creative Fabrica license. So yes, upload. Okay, there it is. Awesome, right? So now, if I come over here into the design I was working on, which was this one, and I type a T to add some new text, which is tiny. Let's make that like 100 so we can see it. It still needs to be bigger. Okay, so right now it is in the chunky retro because that's what I've been doing everything in, but I can come up here and I can now change it to my uploaded fonts, which is right there. There it is. Okay, so if I wanted to go get some of those fun extra things that are on it, I could hop back into Creative Fabrica to access that. I'm actually gonna delete that one and I'm gonna show you how I access them on this chunky retro font. Okay. So again, we took this plain L and we turned it into this more fun kind of retro-y L. Hop back over into Creative Fabrica. You just wanna come over to the tools section now and you wanna to go to Font Cloud. Now this is free. You only have to have a free account on Creative Fabrica to access Font Cloud. You can sign up for free. It won't cost you anything. Okay. So we are going to open Font Cloud, and you do have to actually put all of your fonts into Font Cloud in order for them to show up here. But again, that's really easy. You can drag and drop it into here, or you can upload it. And again, it is that file folder that we uploaded into Canva. So let me come and find it here. Comic Jungle, there it is and open and it will now upload into Canva and it, or I'm sorry, it will upload into Font Cloud and it will be available for me to choose. I love this feature, check this out. So I've typed sample and I can see that word in every single font that I have um, installed into Font Cloud, which are also the fonts that I have installed on my computer and the fonts that I am now able to use in Inkscape. And it makes it really helpful if you're trying to decide what font to use for your design. You just stick it over here into Font Cloud, put your word or your phrase or whatever, and you can scroll through and you can see exactly what it will look like in all of your fonts. But I did just happen to pass Chunky Retro. That's the one I wanted to show you. Okay, so check this out. I've got my word, right? This is another PUA encoded font. If I scroll down, I'm going to start to see all of these things that have this blue square. Like here's my normal stuff. These are just the regular letters you're going to get. But as I scroll down, all of these start to have these blue squares around them. These are all of the extras for this particular font. And it is awesome. Let me go find that L. 
There's so much in here. Where is it? There it is. All you do is click on it and then it says character copy to clipboard. Now you just come in here, I'm gonna delete that L, control V to paste it in. So it shows up as a little X right here, but it actually is right there. Now, you wanna put this into Canva? No problem. Copy this, copy the one at the top that has the little X inside of it. Control C, or Command C if you're on a Mac. Hop back over here. I'm even just going to delete this. I typed it in again, I typed the word sample and it is just ridiculously small. Okay, so there it is without the fancy L. Now I'm going to delete everything there and paste Control V or Command V for paste and I get the fancy L. That easy guys, so, so simple. Hop into Creative Fabrica, pick out some fabulous fonts, get some that have that fun PUA encoded area, add your font to Canva, and then copy and paste to get your special characters. That's it, guys. We'll see you next time.